Hello, Sexy Bald Man Legacy here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install another mod that allows you to unlock all of the customization for Season 1 and Season 2 for the Halo Master Chief Collection. Now, without further ado, all that you'll need is a PC and access to the internet, because you'll need to download all character customizations unlocked. This will allow you to just drag one tiny file to a folder, and then everything's unlocked. This will work for both the Steam version and the Windows Store version. If you have an Xbox and are trying to do this, there isn't a way to do it. I'm sorry. Now, when you're on the website, you just click on Files, and then you click on Manual Download. You go to where it downloaded, and then you right-click on it. You hit Unzip, and then you extract the RAR. If you don't have anything to unzip it with, Consider going and downloading 7-Zip to do it. There will be a link in the description below. Now, once you've done that, you can leave this folder open. And now, you need to figure out where your Halo Master Chief Collection is installed. In my case, I can show you where they are both installed. So, the Steam version, you can right-click on Steam, go to Library, right-click on the Halo Master Chief Collection, which says it's still running, but it is not, I assure you. And then you hit Browse Local Files, and there you go. You have now found it. Now, if you have the Windows version of it, you're going to want to do something similar. You're going to want to find the hard drive that, is, that it is installed on. If you don't know what hard drive it is installed on, probably start with your C drive. Oh, wrong C drive. This C drive. And then go to Program Files, and then scroll down to where it says Modifiable Windows Apps. In my case, I have it installed on the second hard drive under the same location. So, Program Files, Modifiable Windows Apps. Once you're in there, you can open up Halo MCC, the same as you would have opened it up on Steam. Now, from here on, the tutorial is exactly the same. You go to your file that you downloaded, you go to Data, on, and then UI, and then in here, you'll have a couple files. I'm going to really quick set this back to way it would look when you got on here the first time. This is how these files are going to look when you first install the mod. Okay? To do this, you're going to want to go in here. You're going to want to back up whatever file this is. So we're going to put a one right here to let us know that this is the original file. We can do this on both of them so that you guys can see what you do on either the Windows version and the Steam version. Now that that's been done, you can copy over the file to both of them. The Windows one will make you use administrative mode to edit it, but the Steam version, you will not need that. Now that it's been installed in here, you can just minimize these and start up whichever version of Halo, the Master Chief Collection you have or want, if you have both. With either version of the game, when you start it up, you can either start it up, just play a regular Halo Master Chief Collection, or with anti-cheat disabled. With this mod, you can use either of them, and it will work regardless. On the Windows version, you may want to use the anti-cheat version, because the game may be installed in two different locations on your computer. If it works when you use the non-edited version, you should be good. Once you've started it up, to know that you have done it correctly, at the top right corner of the screen, it'll say anti-cheat incident, and it'll say unlock DB XML. That means it was successful. Now, when you get on here, you can go to career, and then customization, and then all of season one, which is everything you unlock in the Halo Reach game, that will be unlocked if you haven't already unlocked it. Now, with season two, Halo CE has customization. You now have visor colors, that have everything from regular colors to pearlescent colors. Pearlescent ones are definitely the ones I'd choose. You go into skins, and now you have weapon skins that show up, I believe, in the multiplayer, but may also work in campaign. Everything from your pistol to the fuel rod gun have new skins. So we have gold skin, woodland, desert, great journey, black cherry, hazard pay, and toy soldier. These are just a sample of the various skins that you can get while running around and unlocking new levels in Halo. Now, another thing you get is 
the vehicle skins. So warthogs, rocket warthogs, ghosts, banshees, and scorpions all have their own unique skins. So we can do the hot rod skin, we can do the shark skin, we can do zealot skin, we can do ultra skin, and then we can also do the the bangle skin. So now we have a striped a striped scorpion, which is awesome. I mean, it would have taken forever to unlock half of these things, but because of this mod, it's all unlocked right away, and you don't have to touch multiplayer if you don't want to. Now, with all of these installed, you are still able to go and play with your friends in, let's say, campaign, and in firefight, as well as create, and custom game multiplayer. The only thing you cannot play with this installed is if you try to go to social games or competitive games, it will say that you cannot play due to the following cheat, blah blah blah, unlock DB. If you want to play again, you just have to go back to your files and revert back to your backup. Now, that pretty much does it for this video guys. If you guys have any questions or want to see anything else, please leave a comment in the description below and subscribe for future videos. See you in the next one. Bye.